Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to No Run Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials, and in this tutorial we are going to cover how to export an iMovie 10.0.8, which is the latest version of iMovie as of today. And I haven't made an exporting video for a while regarding how to export in general, and I thought I would update the whole um, idea. So what we're going to do, once you have your event pro event created and within the event you have a project and within that project you have a bunch of edited footage and you're completely done and ready to export what you're gonna do is go to the very top right hand corner in iMovie where it says share go ahead and hit that share button and uh, in my personal opinion I do suggest exporting to file if you want to di directly export to YouTube you can do that as you please um that you may run into some problems like it might upload to the right channel or it might just give you an error if you want to just skip that entire hassle procedure go ahead and export as file as and I'm going to show you guys this a file exports directly to your desktop so go ahead and select file so share file and then go ahead and change your title to as you please your description as well you can also change this later on as it's exporting and then you can change your tags and then video format you can export as audio only if only you're trying to export the audio and then also change the quality mine's going to be the highest quality for example right here 1920 1080p and quality high um, you don't need to choose best pro res if you pay attention right here where it says 41.4 megabytes if you go to pro best pro res it goes to 303 megabytes this is only because uh it's not actually not that big of a difference because it's only 16 seconds long my original footage here but once you are uh if you're doing like a 10 minute video it'll be like 10 gigabytes which is unnecessary and i'm telling you right now bro pro best pro res is the same thing as high if you're using 4k for example though quality which iMovie doesn't quite officially support yet um then you will you will they'll probably want to export as best pro res but for example go ahead and just use high and that, that's the only one you need to use you can go ahead and scroll through your footage right here make sure you got all your footage within your clip and you do not need to add a theater unless you want to basically share it and uh, share it to your Apple TV or you want to put it on another device, then you don't need to worry about this. So 16 seconds long, 41.4 megabytes, and then we got it all set here. We're going to go to next to export, and uh, it should let us choose a destination where we want to export this file. So we want to go straight to our desktop, and we're going to name Apple Weekly News Update 13. Uh, actually, we're just going to actually name it Test Export. And uh, right here, straight to my desktop, and go ahead and hit save. And uh, you'll go up to the top right hand corner here in the progress bar. It'll show uh, waiting, and then it'll change to, uh, I believe, uh, transcoding. Oh no, writing test export.mp4. Two minutes, it'll go way faster than that because it's only a 16 second clip. And once it's ex exported, we'll be able to get a clip here. I mean, a notification. I'll go to my desktop you should, because this is where it's going to go. As you can see here, it's already exporting. It might come up as two files at first like this, but it's just because it's combining them. And uh, this file should disappear. So go ahead. Don't delete it. Don't touch it. Just wait for it. The little confirmation screen saying that it's exported completely. As you can see here, it's going. Um, I'm just going to watch this. should have been done by now, but for some reason, it's running quite slowly. And it might be because I'm doing a 1080p as well, 16 second clip. So here we are. Give it a more second, five more seconds, four, three, and there we go. So you should be done. Wait for that notification to officially pop up. There we go. And uh, we can either go show it or close it. And here we are. We just have the one file here. We can double click it to launch it in QuickTime and actually view the footage and make sure it's all just a test clip um, from here you can go ahead and export import it or upload it to YouTube so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this you go ahead and just you can either drag it and drop it or click on that upload and it'll open up your desktop or open up your files at and just go ahead and upload and it'll give you a little uploading and progress bar I'm actually going to cancel because I don't need that video that will be spam for all my subscribers but that's just for um, uploading purposes and directions thank you guys for watching this tutorial I'm sure to leave any comments or questions in the comment section below also I'll have a link in the description for you guys for a playlist of all my iMovie tutorials be sure to check that out thank you guys for watching and later Let my life be the proof.